So Eric and I just got back from Lake Placid, and if you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, maybe you saw some of the images that we posted over the last few days, and you know we uh, posted a, a live image while we were there, you know, on this like really cool. I don't know what you call it. It's a it's a, it's a river, but it, you know the rock bed of the side of the river, and it's actually the thumbnail for this video. Um, so today, what I wanted to talk about is just photography in general, and you know. For me, and I know for Eric, how it's really made an impact on our lives, and uh, it's it's made it better for us in in so many different ways. And I know a lot of young photographers follow us here, and you just want to get better at taking pictures and things like that. But if you really push yourself and you know learn your camera and can really understand it and kind of master your camera, it's a great tool to have with you in so many different situations. And for us, one of the things that we really love is actually going out uh, at least once a year, possibly more times if we can do it, and just taking specific photo trips is what we did here. So last year we went to Ricketts Glen um, State Park in Pennsylvania, which was like a waterfall mecca. And we usually like to go shoot waterfalls. It's just a fun, creative um, photography kind of trip to take. It's always fun hunting them, trying to find them. They're always buried in the woods somewhere. And uh, it's a lot of fun to, you know, you're using neutral density filters, you're creating motion. Uh, you know, you never know what the light is going to be like and the landscape. So it, it's fun. And usually get some exercise too, because there's always hiking involved when you're shooting waterfalls. So this year we went to Lake Placid and I'll drop some images when we were here. And uh, Lake Placid is in uh, the Adirondack region of New York, if you don't know. The 1932 and 1980 Olympics were held there, Winter Olympics. But I had never been there, you know, when there wasn't snow on the ground. I used to play ice hockey and I played up there in tournaments and things. But, uh, you know, this was a new experience for me. Um, so I really enjoyed it. We, we went up there. It was cold. It was 29 degrees at night. We, I mean, we were, we were cold during the day. We had hats and gloves and but it was, it was great to be outside and uh, we took pictures of waterfalls and we found, um, you know, different hiking trails and we went up to the top of Whiteface Mountain, which is, uh, you know, a big ski resort area there. That's where they had all the, you know, the skiing events at the Olympics and it's a, it's a huge mountain. I think it's 4,600 feet. So we're at the top of Whiteface Mountain. Pretty spectacular. It's actually not even the top. I think that is up there. There's still chairlifts that run up to the top of the mountain there. Pretty amazing. And there's a gondola ride that takes you to the top. And, you know, if I wasn't into photography, these are all things that I probably wouldn't experience. Um, you know, I, I would go to the town of Lake Placid and, you know, maybe I'd wander around, do some shopping and things like that. But, you know, photography forces me to get out and do things. And it can do the same thing for you. Whether it's, you know, getting up early for a sunrise, um, staying somewhere to wait for that, you know, blue hour after the sun sets, uh, maybe going to different parts of the country that you know are really great photo spots that you want to capture for yourself. It, it, it forces you to do things. You get out there and you travel and you meet people. And really photography is what brought Eric and I together as friends. And um, over the years, you know, we've enjoyed this um, shared hobby that we both have and you know it's made us better friends but on top of that you know we always have someone to do these things with and over the years we've met other photographers that we can now call friends and we really enjoy meeting up with them once or twice a year and going out and shooting and you talk and the the, the camera is always that one thing that you know kind of bonds everyone together we all have different lives and come from different places and do different things for a living but um, this is something we can all get together around and talk about, and it's a lot of fun. And especially nowadays, we share our images back and forth, and you know we can comment on each other's Instagram posts. So it's it's a lot of fun. If you want to take it to the next level, there's also business opportunities. You know, you can, you know, be that guy in your neighborhood who does the portraits at the school, or maybe you want to get into uh, doing parties or baby portraiture, you know, you do new babies and or engagement photos or high school senior pictures. There's so many different avenues for you to have a like a little side business. And um, there's nothing more satisfying than when you have captured an image for someone and they look at it and you can tell that they just love it. And to me, that's what keeps me coming back is the, you know, on social media is a great place for that where you put your stuff out there and you get immediate feedback. 
and it's it's awesome it's great to you know you put a lot of time and effort into getting to a place to take the image and then when you can get immediate feedback on it it's awesome and if you do that for someone and you're being paid for it, it's even better uh, because you know that payment is basically them saying you know I like what you do it validates what you're doing this little camera here is has been great for me in the, the 10 years that I've been really serious about photography um, I've been all over the place with this camera up and down the east coast of the United States and different places and uh, Eric and I had our uh, Disney World books that we you know were part of because we you know were really heavily into photography in Walt Disney World and you know, it was a it was a great experience for, uh, for us. We met so many people. You may you know a lot. It's not always about money. You make a little money here and there, but it, I've just enjoyed the whole journey and just trying to. I don't know, just uh, push myself in different ways. If an opportunity comes, I try to jump on it and and see where it takes me. Uh, maybe challenge myself to try to get an image that I didn't think I could get, or I was a little nervous to get, or maybe learn a new technique that I didn't know. This is one of those hobbies. Uh, so if you're a young photographer, I say. You know, really dig in because you never know where it's going to take you. If Ten years ago, if you would have told me I'd have a YouTube channel with, you know, 10,000 subscribers and uh, an Instagram page with 70,000 subscribers and, you know, followers and, and I'd be making money on the side and, and you, know, you know, met all these different people and I've had been to all these cool places to photograph things, I never would have believed you. So get out there keep going. This is I, this video is one of those ones where I, I'm just back for the trip. I'm feeling good about photography and I really didn't have a topic to talk about. I've run through all my gear. I really, I have a new flash that I'm going to actually do a review on. It's a Flashpoint flash. I haven't used it much, but I am going to do a video on that. I know you guys all like gear reviews and stuff that's like nuts and bolts of photography that can really help you. But every now and then, I think it's good to just hear, you know, because you lose motivation. And, you know, I'll sometimes put the camera down for a, a few weeks. And then when I have a weekend like I just had, I get out there and it, the it, weather's crisp and you're outside and we're hiking around and we're trying to get the shots. And then after the trip, you know, Eric will share his images with me and I'll, you know, share mine with him. And we talk back and forth about it. it it's, it's a really uh, great thing. And I look forward to it, you know, every year. Try to cultivate that kind of hobby for yourself, where you are pushing yourself to go to new places. And that's been one of the great things that I've really enjoyed is, you know, seeing something online and saying, oh, I want to go photograph that and then getting myself there and then being in front of it and actually taking the pictures. Ricketts Glen was one of those places like that where we went last year. I had heard about it. It's a state park kind of in the middle of Pennsylvania, not much around it. Um, you know, we saw pictures online, but you never know what you're going to see. And it totally exceeded our expectations. It was a it was a challenging hike. I think there were 22 waterfalls there. Just amazing. And and like this trip here, we drove up the side of Whiteface Mountain on the Whiteface Veterans Memorial Parkway, I believe it's called. It takes you up the side of the mountain until you get to the, the peak. And it was just stunning. And that's something that I don't know that I would have found had I not, you know, wanted to take pictures and kind of dug into this area and see what's around there. And Eric does the same thing. So we come together and we're like, well, I saw this, we got to go here and okay, let's go here. And, and that's what we do. We, we kind of, it's almost like hunting for the perfect photograph. So next year we're thinking maybe going to the Carolinas where we've heard near Asheville, there's a hundred, like, I don't know, like a hundred waterfalls in that area. And uh, it sounds like an excellent place to go for uh, the type of photography that we like to do. And we can already start planning it and it looks like it's gonna be a fun thing. So what are those places for you where you wanna go? Those places that you've seen online or maybe you've heard about and you wanna get there. Um, I say start with something you know, within a couple of hundred miles of your house. Find a friend. You, know, you don't even have to be best friends, but the photography will bring you closer. And it's exciting to plan everything, uh, have a photo trip and, and you know, get it on the calendar and go. Get out there, you know, it, it's fun to pack for it. You know, you pack all your gear up and you, you get ready for the weather and whatever that's going to be. And then you get out there in nature and uh, there's something very calming and soothing and uh, it really is great to do every now and then. Our lives are so busy and it's really great to just slow down. And uh, when we're out there shooting, the, really the only thing I'm thinking about is where I am and what I'm doing and trying to get the camera to work for me and do exactly what I wanted to do to get the image that I'm imagining in whatever spot I'm in. Another thing is don't go crazy if you don't have the best gear. You don't need the best gear. 
a lot of the times we're shooting off of tripods and really uh, something like the Canon M50 or a small mirrorless camera will be absolutely fine. As long as you have the controls where you can shoot in manual mode or at least AV or TV, you know, you'll be able to catch, capture amazing images. You don't need the most expensive lenses. You don't need the most expensive camera. The images that I'm showing you in this video, you could easily capture images that look just like this with, um, you know, a, a Canon M50 instead of a, you know, $2,500 DSLR. So don't worry about your gear. It's more about getting out and, f you know, getting out and just getting the shots and getting out there and, and practicing your photography. And then the last thing is, don't be ashamed to show your stuff online. Yeah, it may not be the best at first, but get it out there. You know, create an Instagram account. Put your stuff out there. You'll find an audience eventually. And if you don't, you'll get feedback from some people, but it's great to just get your stuff out there. Force yourself to edit. Learn how to edit. And, and let your photography grow. And you'll find, just like Eric and I have and all of our photography friends, it just feeds itself and it becomes a passion. And it's something that you, know, you look f to do all of the time. And uh, we really, really enjoy doing it. And I think that you could have something like that also, a hobby that'll stay with you the rest of your life. It doesn't require you to be in any time, type of fantastic shape. You don't need to spend a ton of money. Although I will say, it can get very expensive and it usually does, but it doesn't have to, but that's up to you. It, but I find that typically you will start to spend more money on more expensive gear. It's just the way it is. So I'd love it in the comments if you would put some places that you've been have exceeded your expectations as far as photography. Because uh, it's hard to find these places and we're never quite sure where to look. So I'd love to get some feedback on this. And um, as always, thank you for watching. I'm gonna drop um, a video of our trip from last year at Ricketts Glen. We kind of did a vlog where we walked around all day with the camera so you can get an idea of what that place was like. And then uh, I'm gonna put here our photography playlist. So if you're looking to maybe brush up on some skills or this, you have a question on how something works, we might have made a video about it in this playlist here. Okay, thanks and I'll see you in the next video.